I'm Maggie Lewis. I am a Fulbright Senior Scholar for this academic year, 2017-2018. I'm based at National Taiwan University College of Law here, and my home back in the United States is at Seton Hall Law School, where I'm a professor. My project here is looking at legal reforms, particularly with respect to criminal justice and human rights, and a large focus is on Taiwan's domestic changes, but I also have a cross-strait component. I'm looking at developments with law in China and how those might affect cross-strait relations as well. I was really fortunate because I arrived here last August right when a large-scale national conference on judicial reforms were finishing up, so there's a lot to talk about, a lot of excitement, and it's still a work in progress because I've been going to mock trials, looking at a new lay participation system. That law is expected to go to the legislature this fall. Um, I've seen a lot of changes, but I'd say it's a work in progress because uh, legal reform is not something that happens in just a year. But uh, so far, I think that I've not only seen a lot of on-the-ground changes and what's happening in individual courts, but also gotten a better sense of sort of the overall reform climate here. And first of all, I am grateful that the taxpayers both in the United States and Taiwan support Fulbright because I know there's many things that their money can be going towards and so that the fact that this is something that people are supporting is, I think, wonderful, but why? Um, particularly uh, with respect to what I do, because I look at uh, human rights, criminal justice, legal reforms. I think uh, you know, we're at a point right now in the world where a lot of freedoms and democracy are under siege, and I think it's important to support places like Taiwan that are really embracing those civil political rights and trying to be a, a real thriving democracy. I, I don't think most Americans know much about Taiwan's history and the fact that uh, it was up until 1987 that Taiwan was under martial law. And so in the last three decades, there's been uh, really hard-won freedoms and to go from an authoritarian martial law era to what is a thriving, sometimes raucous democracy uh, is tremendous. So I think that, that aspect of Taiwan is something that just isn't appreciated um, fully in the United States. This has been a, a very important year. I've, previously have been to Taiwan, I had contacts here, but this time has really cemented those into lifelong friendships. And I think it takes being uh, really living in a place for a period of months or a year or longer to develop those sort of ties. Uh, I also, I am an academic, I write law review articles with hundreds of footnotes, but I, I do try to get outside of the ivory tower. So for example, one thing I've done here is had a discussion group with judges and they're interested in U.S. law. So we talk about issues, whether it be government surveillance, uh, right to defense attorney, and it turns into a two-way conversation about our system. So I think in some ways, even though I'm technically the teacher, I'm getting more out of it. I think the most memorable was uh, when I first came to Taiwan in 2006 and I met a law professor then, who a uh, wonderful uh, professor Wong, and he since became a Buddhist monk. And he's now living full time at a small monastery in Jai County. And so my whole family went up the mountain, which was like something out of a Dr. Seuss novel about this steep, and you come out and there's the Yunhai, there's the Sea of Clouds, and you're at this little monastery, and so I got to sit and have tea with this law professor who I just adore, while my boys played with ants on the monastery floor, and, and that's just, that was special. That was something that was unlike any other thing I've experienced. My inspiration was that I didn't want it to be a short trip where I had a couple days, meet a few people and leave. I wanted to be here and the Fulbright made it possible for me and my family to live here for a year while I was on sabbatical. So that, that was the inspiration and to see reforms on a day-to-day -day basis as compared with just getting some information and then getting on a plane immediately. I think fulfilled makes it sound like there was an ending. Uh, I. I feel like I've accomplished a lot, I've learned a tremendous amount, and I don't think I'll fully appreciate how much I have learned until I leave and have a chance to process it. And um, so this is this is ongoing, so it's fulfilled, no, have I accomplished a lot, yes, and I'll be back.